What's up guys? So today I'm in Thessaloniki, Greece and I have exactly 10 euros to spend for today. So guys, as for the breakfast, I'm thinking of buying something like some bakery and coffee. So I think that will do for breakfast and right now I'm gonna look for spots like this. So I actually found one food spot and everything there is in Greek and there's like old people sitting. So I think I'm gonna try to get there and see what prices they have. Uh, uh, do, do you make coffees or no? Coffee with espresso or cappuccino? Uh, with milk, cappuccino. What would you recommend from bakery? I recommend what I like. Yeah, what you like. I like this. <laughs> what is this? With cheese. Okay, thank you so much. So it's basically dough, as you can see, and inside you have like cottage cheese. I'm pretty sure it's like some Greek kind of cheese, I don't know. So yeah, the coffee has a little bit like different uh, taste, but yeah, it tastes good. So guys, I paid 150 for a coffee and I paid one euro for these like, I don't know, some cheese thing, like piece of bakery, I don't know what it is for. But yeah, I paid 250 for my breakfast. And yeah guys, depending where you're from, 10 euros, it could be a lot of money or it could be not enough money to live for a day. The minimum salary in Greece is 500 euros and plus people have to pay rent and other expenses and I think that's what many people actually get to spend you know what I mean something around something around 10 euros obviously the cheapest way to eat is to buy groceries and cook yourself but like it's not really perfect for my situation because I live in a hostel and we don't really have like a kitchen so I think today is gonna involve a lot of street food I have no idea what they were saying but anyway so I know I'm gonna be walking a lot today so I'm gonna try to buy water and I'll try to find like the cheapest spot where I can buy it. Uh, can I buy water from you? Yes. Uh, one bottle. Yeah, like this one. How much is it? One eighty. Eighty cents. cents. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I paid 80 cents for water and I don't know if it's a lot or not. I hope it's like not a lot because you know it's a small shop, small grocery shop. It shouldn't be like too much if you know what I mean. Excuse me? Yes. Do, do you have a tissue? Mm. Yeah yeah yeah. Nice. So if you want to know why I bought the tissue right here, it's because I have a nosebleed. Like, look, I don't know if you can see right here. For example, look, I wipe my nose. You see blood over here, man. So yeah, I'm pretty sure the nosebleed was caused by the coffee I had earlier today. It has a little bit like different uh, taste. It must have been like so strong because I felt like my blood pressure like raised. My heart was bumping, you know? I mean, anyway, it's a small thing. So actually, I remember from yesterday, the tour guy, he said that the garlic sauce actually helps to uh, decrease the blood pressure. And in my case, I think it would work for me. So yeah, right now let's look for garlic sauce. I was wondering, do you have garlic sauce? Mm -hmm. Do you have garlic sauce? No. Do you know where I can buy it? Do you want to ask the garlic sauce? With the mat, maybe uh, they have, uh, they have it. So yeah, I bought the garlic sauce, but I didn't buy anything to eat it with, you know, like I have no spoon, I have no nothing. So I'm thinking that I should buy like a bread or something, like breadsticks. I think that will do. Do you need help? Uh, thank you. So guys, here goes my lunch. I have a garlic sauce and I have a baguette. And I spent for it 410 in total. I could have bought a huge burger with fries on the side and a drink for that money. But my dumb ass decided to buy a garlic sauce just because I need to lower my blood pressure. So right now I'm gonna try the garlic sauce for the first time ever. It's a really fancy package. Oh shit. It smells good. Let me lick this. Ooh, it's like really sour. So yeah, right now I'm gonna dip a baguette inside. I go, you go like this, as you. I just wonder how much of it you should eat to actually lower your blood pressure. Maybe the whole thing. I don't know. There's gonna be experiment at the same time. So yeah, guys, I couldn't finish the whole thing. Not gonna lie, the sauce, the uh, the garlic sauce doesn't taste good so I'm not a fan of it but I still have some left and it's also giving me like a weird aftertaste thank god I have a date like I don't know about you guys but I always have a date with me you know right here get, get the joke funny right funny right
I'm pretty sure it's Indians playing cricket it's right in the middle of the freaking square <laughs> look that's where they play cricket that's where the rest of the square is oh you mother why would you you trust you trust why would you throw the ball right there there are some mess holes playing in our territory it's our square it's our square why would they play baseball in our square Fucking assholes he almost killed me okay so I actually have a free walking tour scheduled at 3 p.m. and it's almost hold on it's 2 31 and the meeting point for the tour is a bit to the north from me so I need to get there fast and you know what I'm thinking right Okay guys, so I just finished the tour, so it's 6.05 and it, I think it's time for the dinner. As for the dinner, I don't have much money left, I only have like 2.60 as I remember, yeah. So right now let's find any dinner for 2 euro 60 cents, let's go. So guys, as for the main course, I'm thinking of buying like pizza, there's like 1 euro sliced pizza. Uh, can I get a pizza? This one. Thank you so much. So yeah guys, so I got the pizza right now and yeah, let's try it out. It's good, like the pizza is good and it's a big slice too and it was like only one euro so yeah that will do for the main course for now so guys to finish off the dinner I only need to buy dessert so right now let's find a dessert that I can find for under 160 Hi. Hello. Uh, what can I buy under 160 here? one euro 60 60 not much no nothing? this waffle is 3 euro I'm gonna buy it for three. Okay. Oh, you want me to show the whole process? No problem. So that's how it's done. This uh, waffle name, uh, waffle liege. Okay. This, uh, it's like a food channel, you know? Fresh cream. Damn, look at that. You're the first person ever to cut waffles like that? Okay. Okay. The reason I wasn't saying anything is because it's so tasty, you know what I mean? I just want to eat it. I don't want to talk about it. What, what's your name, by the way? Akis. Akis. <laughs> yeah, guys, so Atias, Arias told me to eat right here. So normally people would eat right there. So yeah, so shout out to Atias for... Okay, oh, thank oh. you. <laughs> he actually added a little bit more here, as you can see. <laughs> Uh, so the question I was asking like what's the name of your shop? La Waffle. So guys if you ever go to Thessaloniki, Greece You should definitely visit this place called La Waffle. What's your name again? So, Akis. 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 Yeah, he's a really good guy So you should buy from him. Thank <laughs> you. Buy, yeah, you should definitely buy waffles from him. Yeah guys So yeah, thank you for the video. That's gonna do for today. I spent a little bit more with waffles I spent I think like 12 euros in total but hey, like he's a really good guy. It was a good interaction. It was worth it. So yeah, peace.